Don't they stars miss pantalones? I should have known. <laughs> and I'm Shaw. I'm Pixel. And I'm Rex. Today's just well, a bit more Resident Evil 4 remake. Yay! Welcome back to a, another wonderful episode of Gaming with Shala. And here we have Rex with us. Yay! Hello! Closest to Rex, medium distance is <laughs> oh, Pixel. And I'm Sh uh, Shala. And you're uh, yep. Shala. Yep. Shala. Shala la la. Hey, Shala. Shala li la la. Shala. Uh, sounds like you have an avalanche on the brain. Yes. Is that, is that something I'm too straight to know? No. No. The. A lot of ABBA songs coming down it. Oh. Yes. I gotta show. I gotta show you. A uh, video later. I love most uh, song I've been uh, being exposed to against my will is the uh, that one Oompa Loompa song. Oh, a bad feeling about you. Ugh. Ew. We didn't need another Charlie in the. Willy Wonka <coughs> thing. We didn't, but we got it anyway. Okay, but consider this. What if uh, uh, Wonka was a corked up white boy? Wasn't wasn't he? <laughs> wasn't he always? Uh, originally Gene Simmons. Gene Wilder. Who the f*** do I think? Your Gene Simmons is from Kiss. Gene yeah. Wilder is... That would have made long tongue. That would have made the Mr. Frankenstein. That would have made the whole no, movie a lot more yeah. wild. He, he it was pronounced Frankenstein in the film. It, it, the, young uh, Frankenstein. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was like, it's Frankenstein, not Frankenstein. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> if. Sorry. Imagine if Gene Simmons walked out in the purple suit. Is, mm. is that Ada? Yeah. Mommy. Everything will work out just fine. She's. <laughs> Come here to wear a red dress and have terrible voice acting. He's a good boy. Predictable. Uh. Fine. Keep your mind. But don't if I wasn't as gay as I am, I'd still smash. <clears throat> hey, just saying. It's not weird Oof. if it's an animated fictional character. Come on now. Leon, changed your mind yet? Yeah. Assuming you haven't, I've got a tip for you. Seems like something big is about to go down in the throne room. Babysitting's tough, huh? Hey, Ada. Ada. <sighs> Perfect. That is terrible voice acting. Weird that I keep remembering to do that. You talking about made me think of the uh, of John Waters quote of uh, said about lesbians and gay men having sex. Oh, you mean like Jesse and James or Team Rocket? You're welcome. That that never mind. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> Ooh. Why didn't stepping on it kill it? So does that make me out the guy who just sits in the corner and watches? Basically. <laughs> Ew. <Damn>. Kill it. <laughs> Nicely done. Boot stomp. Where am I going? I don't remember. Something's going you down. You mean you in lost the her? Room. It's been a hot minute. Uh, basically. Emphasis on the hot. It's been a. It, mildly attractive minute. <laughs> Do you think the people who play the modded versions wear I thought you mean Leon and the invi invisible oh, God. body armor is the thing? Yep. Not hot guys and tattoos. It's my one weakness. 
That is so gross. Um, yeah, Oops. Oh, oh monkey. Dude. Quick, what's my safety word? Oranges. Peaches. Safe word is Worcestershire sauce. Umbrella. <laughs> the three hardest things in the world to say. I'm sorry. I, I need, need help. help. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire? Worcestershire. 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 Apparently, cinnamon is hard to say too. Cinnamon? Cinnamon. 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 Oh, God. Remember, synonym rolls are what your grammar used to Was that a giant praying mantis? Uh, half praying mantis, half lie, half ape. What is, what is oh, that? It's a locust stone in there for good measure. Yeah. What, what even is that? Big <laughs> old bug. Big old... How original. There's one thing this game teaches teaches you kids, it's how to be a good robber. And a good arsonist. Just knock over this can to rob with a cat. Meow, meow, meow. It's easy as one, meow, two, three. Meow, meow. Oh, speak. I saw this uh, video where he's talking about this uh, idea of a tabaxi on the on the quest to like the edge of the world, like the edge of the world, basically just to push something off over it. <laughs> you were saying. Oh, I, there was a movie concept that came out when Honor Among Thieves cast list were being speculated. Mm -hmm. A tabaxi given a vision of the lich's phylactery is on the edge of the world mm -hmm. and he goes on an adventure to push it off the edge. Uh, the phylactery is basically the well of power from Adventure Time. If that gets destroyed, so does the Lich. Yeah, Outside of some magical bullshit like, Oh no, my finger fell into the multiverse. Now I'm fucking everywhere. Uh, I was thinking about the flashes, the thing you split your souls into. Or the souls of the innocent into so you can have your power. Heal up. You would think they'd be harder to kill, too. They must have a real powerful hand to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a handgun made specifically for Leon because he was dealing with infected bioorganic weapons and other such monsters. Yep. All oh, that fun stuff. Wait a second. Thank you. They oh. have green, they have green eyes, but they're dropping sapphires, yep. and not emeralds. I have all kinds of jewels. I swear to God, if Ruby, it's a chupacabra. I, I swear to God, if Ruby has ever come back in Minecraft, the villagers are gonna have red eyes. Oh no, they got wings. Oh, come on. So what in what part of the world is this? Spain? Yep. There's giant praying mantises. Oh no, that's just Spain. <laughs> yeah. What happens when you get dizzy? You live in Spain without the A. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, almost like we're used to that joke by now. <laughs> Enough with the dad jokes, please! Okay, I hear you, but I think that... 
shying away from my brand like that might be a super conducive for the algorithm. He's gonna need a chiropractor after that that uh, knife trick thingy. You always see the dog chiropractor videos? Oh. Who even thinks that's a good idea? It is. Even, even yeah. dogs go through, like, you know, the joint pains and all that. But, and, like, like so know? why not, you know? Ah, I just think it's funny. Take some, like, chihuahua or whatever. Yeah. Crap, almost snapping in half. Stop. Oh. Like, what? The smallest ones are, like, maybe a pound. What? Bullshit, he can't move those giant pillars to make a bridge. We're playing as Leon. 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 Again. Not Mr. Chris Fuck Boulder, but... Hudfield. Daddy? Oh my god. Big Brother? So daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you do that a little bit better Chris than Chris Redfield I just gives off those what are you doing step bro vibes. <laughs> oh, I got stuck in this folder. I got stuck in this uh washer. Hey look, it's the way I came in. Oops. Get back in the closet. Never. <laughs> Get back in the closet, Leon. Claire, you... You... You're drying up. You need to continue the valent the Redfield bloodline now. Jesus. <laughs> I can just imagine Did these. You, uh, shoot it you know what's weird? Cap. I can just imagine these like praying ma giant praying mantises, and then like add, just like add like a sound bite of the Spanish speaking Gar uh, Ganondorf. It's well from... it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just giant, Terminal. giant Spanish-speaking praying mantises. Shout out to Terminal Montage for creating such an amazing... That's just, like, the biggest meme of memes right now. Multiverse. And honestly, I think he got it right before they announced it. Who does Gina work for? He's a star character who controls others, who uses stars as power and can take orders from higher powers. And what higher power in the Mario universe controls stars? Who? Rosalina. Yeah. I'm not doing Rosalina now. Most likely took on the form of the toy because Mario's body was already taken, and toy Mario would have just looked. Uh, hmm. Oh, I think you leave through uh, the door right there. I have to get to the. Uh, Obama's convenient lives. No wait, the meme is Obama's convenient rants.
The theme music reminds me so much of, uh, you know, in Zelda Breath of the Wild when the moon turns red. Yep. They had that little... Blood moons are always fun. Just... <laughs> Whenever I... Whenever that happens, I... Ah, I don't see that anymore. I, and I also, does anybody else think it annoying too in Breath of the Wild and the sequel where every time the moon turns red, it has to cut to that scene of Zelda explaining what's going on? We're only gonna, we're only gonna hear that a hundred, a hundred thousand times throughout the entire game. That'll be the most time you spent with Zelda. Like after the tenth time, I was like, yeah, I get it, bitch. <laughs> Am I am I quick with uh, the new change from uh, Black of the Wild to Tears was that instead of having the abilities yourself, you will have essentially have stands that you have to ask permission to use. That would be a weird. That is that is a weird alternative. There is a theory. but it's like it it's like old style Zelda. There's a theory that the that they can Ow. hear Link and everything he does. They talked about that one Thomas. Yeah. Link doesn't know he we could he we could hear uh, like oh I think you jumped down from here yeah. like a my like a boss. <laughs> like a boss. Okay, okay. boomer. <laughs> hey, look. Excuse Marshall. me, we're millennials. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I honestly wear that title with pride because I'm somewhere in between. <laughs> but also, strangely, in the middle of this eternal conflict I'm just between the old generation and the new <laughs> generation, yeah. We're all confused. In the words of the modern day internet dweller, Gat Gat Ohio Rizzler. Don't even know what the that means, but Hey guys, I think I know the the title for the next Resident Evil game. Resident Evil, Leon finally gets Gat It's just him Leon's surrounded beef. by all the prominent female characters of the series. Leon, Leon's that one timid virgin that everybody knows is a virgin. And he does it because he thinks that it'll keep the zombies off of him because he, he has no impure... It's like vampire shit. I, th I think... I it, have no regrets. I think it was more PTSD than anything, but... I lost my mother in a fire. I was, uh, so that if, uh, that was stark. If, uh, <laughs> if uh, Link was saying the things I say when I play it, it'd just be like, why do you, why'd you hear and Why the fuck are you going? Come back here! <laughs> why are you so far away? <laughs> Magic missile. I need a bang the <laughs> gas bill. Congratulations, you crit on your damage roll. Prime example of what critting on a damage roll looks like. Oh, that. that zombie shops at Marshall's. Use my cleaner without with like just as I saw that I had a letter. Nope. Either that or he shops at uh, blackcraft.com. Not hashtag not sponsored. I don't even know what that is. Oh, there's another green one. It's like a gothic. Um, it's like Hot Topic, but m more goth and cultish. You know, a cultish type stuff. Like the. 
hot topic. Hot topic it's that was much, uh, gothic anymore. Yeah, hot topic used to be like, oh look, the monster is killing the one zombies for you. But that's just a sign of the times too. Hot topic has to. Hot topic is one of those those stores that have to keep what? up with culture and all that. You know, that's their whole thing. It's just about like the current culture. At this point, I just say the hot topic is just a less adult uh, dispenser. Hot topic is like uh, one of those stores that are more more for super nerds nowadays. Back then, like, see, I was like a scene kid back when scene was wasn't like just cool. It wasn't. It was bas basically before it became cool, like. Like, back in, like, the early 2000s, like, it all started, like, in the late, late 90s, but, like, in the 2000s is when the scene happened and all that, and it, it wasn't, like, this thing that was cool. It was a very niche thing, but anyway, like, back then, Hot Topic was, like, super punk, super emo, like, all that. Invader Zim, Beavis and Butthead, Family Guy, they had it, they had it all. They had it all. And it was more for, like, teenagers and adults. But yeah, nowadays, like, anybody can go in there because it's more video games and anime anime and all that. Like, it wasn't like that at all back then. But that was back because, like, punk and emo and all that other stuff was on the rage. All the rage. Watch. What can I craft? Something tells me you're not gonna mess around with the flash grenades, are you? Ah, looks like that. I have. Critically low ammo. Where's that, uh, that merch guy, or the guy that sells you the ammo and whatnot? Huh. Oops. Oh, did they close the door behind you? I think it locks behind me. That's what you call a splitting headache. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Recommendation. What's that? Yeah. Beastman Eugen by L. Fake Ooh. Wait, is that a real. What's that about? It's, uh, it's written by the same guy who did the Wizard of Oz book. Right. It's the two little kids go out to the forest to have a picnic. And they'll uh, oh, encountering a evil creature who turns them into uh, birds with the heads of children. That's creepy. Oh. That would make a good movie, though. Orbit for that lower beats. Good lord. Let me know. What is that thing? Sightless enemy. Is that a friggin' minotaur? Basic, the closest thing they can get to making minotaurs. 
the bio-organic weapon. Everything. Oh, Those things are gonna do a lot of friendly fire. If you can kite or kite them around the other zombies. Hmm. Well, I say zombies, but... Altus? Oh, good lord. Oh, he is fast! Yep. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, they, there's a, <clears throat> in the book, the, the meat was sort of like, flat, like, porcupine thing. And it's like, with like red eyes. Mm. And the Scott is like, they couldn't see the lights, but there must have been many. It's just like, oh, I used to be a beautiful maiden, but I've been cursed by an evil creature. And all I have to do is be picked up by a, by a child willingly. Like, no, uh, I'm not gonna do that. Like, come on, all you gotta do is pick me up. The voice from the tree's like, don't push that bitch. <laughs> There's two of them. That's a, like, hey, the creature's just like, fuck it. And then it's tearing me now anyway, so. I had this idea for a Wizard of Oz prequel that I've been wanting to write called Crimson and Emerald. And it would be like a prequel about the lost princess of Oz and her wicked sister who was born a crimson princess. Okay. Pretty much trying to usurp the Emerald Throne from her, pretty much. And then starts this whole war that is the basis for everything that happens. They want to run to the shop real quick. I think it's right outside the one thing, just the opposite direction. But, like, lately I've also been thinking better of it. Like, I mean, I can do it, but, like, I don't know how, if people would actually like it. There's uh, one book that I don't know came about, which is essentially uh, a girl gets transported into the Wizard of Oz, sort of. Like, it's just like, I know the Wizard of Oz. I've seen the movie. Oh no, this is the book version. If I were to make the Wizard of Oz my own, though, too, like, I want to do the prequel, but I also want to do something different, like, I don't know if this is a good idea, like, changing the story to make it my own. Changing, like, the course of events by making Dorothy basically the reincarnation of the Lost Princess. That... That's that's pretty that's pretty that's pretty unique. I enjoy that. Shit's locked. Oh well. Wait. What is that door behind you lead? This door. Yep. Oh. Oh, this is the uh, uh, place we had to go. Is that locked behind you? Both were locked from the other side. As I suspect this one is. And why doesn't Leon just use his knife in that situation? So developers didn't think that. They just didn't feel it necessary. Leon's knife is titanium coated, like super sharp for unnecessary amounts of reasons. <laughs> the only thing I don't understand too is like how the knives can break. There's two of them. Because that wasn't a thing in like the other ones, like Resident Evil 8 and all that. But to be fair, like I played Resident Evil 8 first before I played the Resident Wait, Evil 4 use the remake. Wait, flash grenade and shoot the fish in the barrel. Yeah. That works too.
Wait, is it this one where the knives can break? Or is that... Yeah, the... Yeah. We break many, uh, disposable knives. But doesn't he have, like, a virtually indestructible titanium steel dagger? Yeah. That's his personal side... side piece. Yeah, but, like, why doesn't he use that? He is his... Yeah. Just a, a, a developer's it, decision? He has it, it's just broken due to... But you can't break titanium steel. Why am I whispering? It's not like the tank can They're hear They're killing me. each other. Oh my goodness. Um... Oh my god. That's the power of a magnum. <laughs> Wait, did they just literally kill each other? Yeah. <laughs> I think my man and bullet stuff going along the way. Hashtag that's, not sponsored. That's funny. No. I'm it's gotta... I like how they they use comedy in this game too. Drop those bolts. Them up by well, you can sell the bolts at least. Mm. And then... uh, I've never been particularly impressed with the bolts or the mine The mines don't belong to a single person. Yay, I got a laugh out of that one. Yay. Not yours, so nacho. Nacho is so mine. I'll get to the joke eventually. Uh, we did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! Yeah, we did it. We killed somebody! Don't mind me, dude. I'm just gonna... You're the wheel on the shuffle. <laughs> Slide to the hey, lair! Man, don't want no Slide to the lair! Right. Trying to do you the reload shuffle. shuffle. Now sleep on your right side. Everybody clap your hands! Sick of the song. Death and sleep. Why do you die with your eyes open? Never heard that one. That's a. Uh... Have you ever heard of uh, MP being psycho? Mm-mm. The manga series made into a TV series. Oh. Uh, one of the, the big bads is called uh, Lucy Monastone. There are two songs oh. by them. I claim to be this super mega anime fan, but like in all reality, like there are so many animes that I know I haven't watched and that I know probably just don't I I don't think exists or I don't know about, you know, just where you uh once you've been really meaning to watch. I've been meaning to get into like the, the movies for the demo. Um you know demo? No. Oh. Demon Slayer or... No demo. You know the movie we got? Translucent Keys? Oh yeah. Isn't it based on a game series or something? I forget. Yeah. I know we have Demo Translucent Keys, but we haven't watched it yet. You got me into Black Butler. The thing is, I knew that it exist, existed back when it was, you know, just a, a new thing, but like I've never watched it. Playing this to watch all day. All the Gundam series. I've seen all the Gundam series. I, I saw the original. We saw like 
Have I you seen the original? Yeah. Okay. I Good. love building the Gundams. Out. I still have some models, but I get to... You know what they should have done? That was pretty much an opportunity missed, in my opinion. A what? Zoids anime. For the Zoids toys. You remember oh, those? Yeah, yeah. They should have made an anime for that. I mean, they made like a like a limited series way back when based on Zoids, but they should have made it an anime. Are there Zoids games? Uh, I've never played There's them. one, and it's Japan exclusive. Oh. Like, like Mother 3. I miss the old days, too, when kids just like to build shit like that. Zoids, Legos, Mega Blocks. Yeah. Honestly? Well, that was so much fun. I think the Bionicle game coming out, you get to build your own Bionicle. That would be epic. And the thing about that, like, we talked about this too earlier before we started recording, but, like, there's a new Bionicle game coming out that's entirely fan-made. And it's, like, I believe it's going to be free-to-play. And it's by a group of people who call themselves Team Kanohi. Which is a Bionicle thing, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, me and Pixel grew up playing with Bionicles and, like, reading the books and exploring the lore of Bionicle. And, like, Bionicle had this just expansive, gigantic yeah, piece of lore. Like, everything about it was super expansive, and they only kept making more lore about it as they went along. And not, and it was so much fun to build these uh, Bionicles. And it was also, like, if you were like me, growing up, I also used to like whatever Bionicle... I used to, like, take whatever Bionicle pieces I had, and I would sometimes make my own variations. No. Pretty much like an OC kind of thing. That was, uh... Joke I saw where it's like, God, fellas, don't hook up with the... With a tea girl, you won't have sex. He'll just spend four hours explaining the lore of Bionicles to you. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Bionicle lore is massive. Also, but I will say this. They could have done the movies a bit better. Like, every movie felt, like, super rushed. Web of, Web of Shadows, Bionicle 3 especially... Felt super rushed. Like each film was like hey, look, an hour and ten game. minutes to like an hour and fifteen minutes long. You know? And Is there it? were four of them. We just had Leon crawling and you weren't looking at the screen at all. And you know what's funny? A lot of people, like, a lot of people don't, that I know, that I talked about Bionicle with, didn't know there was a fourth movie. They didn't know about the, leg the Legend Reborn. But that's because, like, that movie was, wasn't the best one. It's not looking at the screen right now. It's Bionicle time! I'm sorry. I get I get into it when I talk about my uncle. That was my that was my thing growing <laughs> up. I'm this not is ashamed of it. Enemy and oh. in a enemy and a dark place. This is also it's a water it? spider. You took it <laughs> out. Get it? I thought you were gonna completely stun stun it. What are you gonna do? Tase it? Uh, flash grenade. Oh yeah. I don't think a use a bug taser zapper. Would be good. That's a, <laughs> use a that's just use a bug zapper. Get uh, rid of a bug zapper. Find a nearby rock. Climb up to that rock. Make sure you're out of the water, and then just throw a freaking electric piece of equipment in the a water. A bug zapper connected to a car battery. Yes. <laughs> just Homer, that just solves the problem. Homer Simpson the Homer Simpson the shit out of the the chain. <laughs> I think. So. If you love, well, well, what did he say in the movie? If you love fish like I do, you want them to die with dignity. <laughs> yeah. 
thought I was wrong. Sorry for making you wait too long. So I thought it was at least corpse method. We love mazes. What was that? Another one of those water spiders. That's what you call a shot in the dark. What um children? <laughs> uh everyone has jokes today. Yep. Get joked on. I'm going Undertale with it, but okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say one thing that I'm sure is gonna piss off a lot of people. What's Undertale? I'm kidding. I know what Undertale is. I was about to go into. The I just floor. don't play it. <laughs> I I've never played it. I know, I know, I know. That's gonna talk about all the uh, AUs of uh, Undertale. I've heard some some of it. Oh. Even though I did. <laughs> somebody had to explain. Like, I told them, I told somebody else that I had never played Undertale, and this was on VR chat. And they tried explaining the lore to me. Oh, speaking about lore, a uh, bit. One video game being like something else. How how would you compare Disgaea One to Has Been Hotel? Isn't it Disgaea? No, it's Disgaea. Mm. Why do have I always thought it's Disgaea? Or no, I originally thought it was pronounced Disgaea. It's a, it's a, it's a simple way to remember its name. Ah. Who likes going into an item world to get to level up the item while getting other weapon items to then go into those items and level up those items? This what? guy! What the hell? I'm way too stoned for this. You, uh. <laughs> did, did you ever find a thimble and say, I want to turn this into a cannon? I want to turn this, this uh, thimble into a level 99 thimble. Okay. Go into its item world and then beat up people. You get a stronger thimble. I want to turn this piece of dirt into a level 50 hammer. Kind of. But not really. <laughs> Wait. Oh, opportunity crack. missed. Not today, Black Plague. Uh, unless I'm in Black Plague's the least of your worries. <laughs> You're in it. No, wait, this is the Spanish flu. It has to be the Spanish flu. <laughs> Sorry, Spain. That was uncalled for. Wait, is <laughs> this how you get around to one thing, or...? Why am I? But my most worthwhile jumps. I've got some new items in stock. Welcome. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. They're rare. All my wares are in tip top shape. I assume. Are they? I'll buy almost anything. <laughs> And you had some bolts in your bag, I think. Yeah. That you must use some really strong rust repellent. Or whatever it's called. Rust cleaner. WD forty. WD forty. Stranger. Ooh, I'll pay a pretty penny. That's good WD forty, you never know if it's going to work or not. If it, if it has some wood, just try more. 
Oh, that reminds me of a season one King of the Hill clip. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, WD. WD. Pocket WD-40 so you can open up a regular size one. Yeah. <laughs> because someone got their key stuck in his lock. Do you think that the Tin Man from the Wizard of Oz bathes in WD-40? It's possible. He's like WD-40 and battery acid. You ever hear the? You ever uh, hear the story of how he became a Tin Man? I did not. It's like a, a wooden woodsman who was uh, like, he's like, got enchanted or something, and he just, oh, I chopped off my arm, replace it. <laughs> chopped off a leg, replace it. That's that's um. That's grim. That's fairy tales. That's like Grimm's Fairy Tales 2.0, the remix. Oh, that's oh. putting this full circle in the circle you didn't even know you were going around. <laughs> Police and Policeman Blue Jay, there's a story that there's a, a part where the little uh, children, because uh, they as I said, they get turned into larks. They, uh, they're ha talking to other birds. And there's a story one of the birds tells of uh, her cousin, whose husband was uh, shot. And she These people are not had uh, and their, like, eggs stolen. She, she follows the guy who killed her husband to his house. She like finds him, finds him. It's like, let's go, honey, let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, but he doesn't respond. It's like terror dawning horror to realize that she, that he had been uh, taxidermied. Oh my god! And uh, there's, and she's looking around, and there's all these taxidermy corpses of other birds, and she. And there's like a glass display with other birds' eggs. And she just goes back on like to like just to the house to like talk to him, essentially. And there and then there's a period where they're like, Oh, we haven't seen her for around for a while. And I go to the house and find her taxidermy next to him. I just got the most wicked idea for a horror film. Okay, so a woman goes psychotic, doesn't know she went uh, she went and murdered her husband and stuffed him like taxidermy. So like, this psychotic woman who murdered her husband goes through this this thing in her mind where she thinks her and her husband or her husband's still alive. Like she can actually visually see him. Like they're dancing, whatnot. By the end of the movie, she finds out, like, the whole time that he's been nothing but a dead corpse that she stuffed and sounds, did weird crap with. Sounds a bit, uh... Oh, it'd uh, be a line crosser, for sure. Sounds a bit psycho, a bit, uh, House of Wax. That's just how my brain works. House, yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of, a. Uh... Nobody gets to steal that idea, by the way. I'm just going to point that out. Nobody gets to steal that idea. You hear? I'm, I'm trademarking that idea ago. for that story, people. For that horror film idea. Was, Trademark Rex Dubois. I was thinking of the, uh, the Vincent Price version of the movie. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. oh, Vincent Price was uh, actually one of my inspirations. Okay, Vincent here's Price, an idea Edgar you can like, steal. A horror movie. Darkness. Uh -huh. Just everything's too dark to see. The dialogue is too soft to hear. So kind of like. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And then at the very end, just a jump scare and no credits. So you mean like darkness falls? Ha ha ha! I was gonna say. 
I mean, we can give it a silly name. That movie was like. Yeah. Darkness Falls was a bit too fantasy for my taste. Oh, like, I know the perfect name. Okay. Just. Get on with the it. Na the name would be. My mom. Okay. I what? Can, I right. could not. Mama. There's already a, a horror movie called Mama, so. No, like my mom, like how, Muffle Mima. Man. Like no, my mom. What was that one movie? Like it's the yes. I think it's the yeah. Japanese word for mother, but like there's this there's uh, this movie this like Jap either Japanese or Korean I forget. Okasa. Something Wait. like that. You know where the uh, mother. Where the mother and her daughter get haunted by the spirit of the mother slash grandmother. Yeah. And I, I think it's like a Japanese horror. Well, it has Japanese actors and it's also like the Japanese name of the mother. I forget. Or I could be wrong and it's not, by the way. Just... Do you guys, do you know what I'm talking about? It's a more recent film. There's a Japanese movie called Mother. Is it? Is there? Yeah. There's also like one it's with uh, Jennifer Lawrence, the movie Mother. Yeah. Well, that's Oops All Allegory. That, that movie w scarred me for life. Not very uh, many movies have scarred physically, mentally, like, like mentally, sorry, not physically, mentally scarred me. There's a few I could name, though. And this is also recommended to anyone who might be watching that want to watch something that will literally mess you up. Okay, Final Destination. I think, like, the first three were the worst for me, but the rest were just eh. Um, Hereditary. Midsommar. Uh, Mother. Uh... A Serbian film, which I would never recommend. There's one more. There's uh, one more. Oh, The Witch. You're not gonna mention the. Uh, the, the, the wait. Sallow? Sallow? Never heard of it. Then you don't know as many messed up movies as you think you do. Like, like I haven't. I've never confessed to like watching every single like messed up like psychologically scarring horror film like but I have watched every horror film I can get my hands on which is a big amount but like there is so much more that I want to all the movies you can get your little raccoon hands on oh for sure I'm a movie and media nut dude it you have first aid spray. Oh, wait. That's right. Oh, you should see my film collection at, at home. I've got so many. And most of it is horror. That's game. Yep. <laughs> Everything from, like, 80s horror, 90s horror to present. I tried to balance it out by... Because we have the Jew dog. The Jew dog film. No. Terrified Ghost Hunters. What? Scooby Doo? Scooby Doo and Courage. Oh. The, yeah. There's only Mid one Courage. Going into the middle of the There's only one Courage the Cowardly Dog uh, episode that was the scariest for me, and that was the one with the. Uh, that ghost, or I think it was either a ghost or a mummy, that was hanging out, like, and going, Return the slab! Return the slab! As a kid, that was the most terrifying thing I had ever seen. And the voice, the voice, too. The, it was the voice for me. It, I literally had nightmares about it. Literally had a nightmare of that thing chasing me. Going, Return the slab! I was like, good lord. Oh, oh, that was a cool backflip. Not gonna lie. The enemies are terrifying in Resident Evil, but I would love to see, like, a boss fight. 
a fighting game based around the bosses. Oh goodness. Mr. X versus the priest. Hmm. Or X or that star hunting enemy versus this thing. Wait, uh, the priest, uh, yeah, die versus, uh, uh Lady Demetrius. Yes. Oh, God. I think it's the circle, but two things. Yep. Nice. What is that thing? Uh, bio-organic weapon. Basically, oh. someone took a human, built them full of... Oh, yeah. combine the green and the red herb. Oh. You should get enough room off that. Nice. Yay, I can inventory management. Oh, good lord. Is it even Be killable? Alive. Can you even kill it? I believe so. Or is it one of those things you have to just run away from? It's a real damage sponge, but we can take 90% of the bio-organic weapons are. Otherwise, they just explode in your face. Oh, good lord. And you two have experience with exploding on your face. Ah! Oh, and what would you know about it? <laughs> Shit, my body armor. Nothing. So yes, lots of explosions. <laughs> there's a game. There's a style of game between the letters. M A. G and I that you take enjoyment in. Your suffering can just as it has from his daughter, who has joined us in communion, and now she is of our flesh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Don't mind if I do. My faithful disciple will show her the path. Go now. We now interrupt the to each vagrant children of the salvation. Mmm, chocolate. As you wish. It's like it would be the Maxer video. Hi, I'm Adam Sandler. Hmm? I'll make it cheap for you. You say move on to another game or another chat. Hmm. I'm I'm clueless. <laughs> How many chapters are there? I don't remember. I uh, fifteen. We can do another. It never ends. We can do another chapter. I think. Yeah. Sound good? Hmm. Should we? Stop the recording here and now just do a chop. Okay.